Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Health Cube, the place where our mission is not only to motivate you but help you to move on to the brighter side of the health. In today's video, I am going to address one very commonly asked question by people who suffer from facial paralysis, especially long standing facial paralysis or synkinesis. What is that? Do you want to know? Yes. The question is what is the role of Botox and fillers when it comes to management of synkinesis or long standing facial paralysis? Well, I am not an expert in this domain, but whatever understanding that I have got regarding Botox and fillers, I would be sharing in this video with you. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's begin. So friends, whenever facial paralysis happens, the problem is with the nerve, which means your nerve, your facial nerve, which starts from your brain, passes to your ear and then branches out in five branches like this comes to a problem. There is an inflammation and pressure that is fallen on the nerve at the mid ear level. Now due to this what happens all the signals that the brain is sending stops there and those signals cannot move forward and that's why the face gets paralyzed. Now with the help of medication which is given in the first 72 hours this pressure this inflammation is slowly released after which the nerve comes back to its shape and slowly you see that your facial muscles are coming better or the movements are coming back. But in certain scenarios where the inflammation load or is the viral load in the body is more or in scenarios where the damage that the nerve has gone through is more, it will take delay in the recovery. Whenever a person have got delayed recovery process, when I say that something which has taken more than three months for the facial nerve to recover, in those scenarios, there would be some secondary changes that will happen on the facial muscles. Once a change is lack of flexibility of the muscle or as you can say facial muscle contracture. Also due to that, the fat packs which are present above the muscle and below the muscle also lose or else drops down. Due to which the face on the affected side starts looking a little more flat and there is less contraction due to which uh, and the muscles on the face try to contract more just to match up to the normal side. In this scenario, synchinesis develops. Now due to which what happens when a person is trying to smile, the facial muscles on the affected side will over contract just to match to the normal side. But that exactly the movement will not happen but the contraction would be moved. Now due to this what will happen is that the face will look very asymmetrical. Now in order to address this Botox therapy can be used or is used. What exactly Botox therapy does? Botox therapy is nothing but a toxic substance. Botox is a poisonous or toxic substance that is present in a bacteria and this substance is called as botulinum toxin. The property of this structure is that it temporarily paralyzes a muscle. So whenever this particular toxin is injected in a very small dose, what it will do, it will weaken the contractions of the muscle. Now, this kind of injection is given either on the over contracted facial muscles on the affected side or else sometimes is also given on the normal side. Just keeping the balance of facial symmetry in mind. Hence, whenever a person suffers from synclinesis, usually a common pattern that is practiced by practitioners, they give Botox on the affected eye muscle because there is lot of over contraction that is happening there and the cheek muscle or the smile muscle on the normal side. What this does is when Botox is given on the affected side of the eyes, the force or is the over contraction around the eyelids that is happening due to constant blinking comes under reduction. So it helps to reduce the pressure that is felt around the eyes. At the same time, Whenever Botox is injected on the affected side cheek, the lift or the raise of the cheeks also reduces, which makes the smile look much symmetrical. So basically the idea behind Botox therapy is to bring back the facial symmetry, reduce the over contractions that are happening on the face. 
the good part is that you see results very instantly you don't have to wait for the results unlike uh, the natural method of facial massages facial exercises and stuff like that the bad part or else a downside of this is it is a temporary solution which means botox will have its time its effect time after which it loses its effect and you have to reinject botox on your face the second complication or risk of botox is damage to the vascular structures present on the face vascular structures are arteries and veins whenever the injection is not done in the right way or is done very deep or else is done on the danger zones of the face where there are a lot of intense or very important blood structures present then it could lead to some severe facial damages like ptosis ptosis is nothing but drooping of your eyelids sometimes it could lead to blindness and even sometimes lead to difficulty in spelling certain words hence it's important that botox therapy should be only given after a doctor has analyzed it well if doctor believes that there is a need of extra relaxation and then only the botox therapy is done now moving to the fillers what are fillers fillers are again certain substances that doctors use there are many varieties of it to improve the girth or is the volume on the face so as you observed when a person goes through a long stack facial paralysis the face on the affected side becomes more flat it loses its chubbiness especially around the cheeks around the labial fold that's why the labial fold also becomes more prominent in that scenario it is important that that girth or is that thickness volume should be created otherwise the face looks very different the volume also drops down and that's when fillers are used again the problem with fillers is the same it's a temporary thing it has its certain duration or time after that it loses its ability so you have to reinject and the second thing is the areas the zones where the fillers has to be applied the doctor has to be very careful with it because there are chances of damage it has very limited role in synkinesis management but has got a very good role in the facial symmetry or cosmetic appearance of the face again i would like to clarify i am not an expert in this space whatever reading i have done whatever articles which i have gone through whatever understanding i have got i am just giving you an explanation from my standpoint i would highly recommend to see a cosmetologist or else a doctor who specializes in botox injection or fillers to understand the role of botox or fillers in your face situation i hope through this video i was able to explain you this process if yes make sure to like this video share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to healthy youtube channel i'll see you in another video thank you